some sort of suspicious device at a school, if we're able to send in a drone to get us right on top of the area, from there we can send in a robot to get a closer look at whatever the device is. And hopefully we never have to send a human into that area, but if we do, we're sending them in with all of the information that we can possibly give them so they have the best opportunity to disarm the device. Put the robot in first, allow it to provide eyes on target, collecting the information and getting it back to the operators and the decision makers so they can make more strategic decisions. We really try and focus on making sure that the robot is designed for our end users who are really gonna put it to the test. The mesh network would allow us to go into those rural areas or into areas such as a mall or a hospital or something like that where we have connection issues. It would allow us to circumvent that existing infrastructure and develop what it is that we need. Bringing all this technology together, the reliability, the ease of setup, what we're able to do is communicate what we can see and really take advantage of subject matter experts. If we have good communications, we can cut down on that time it takes us to affect the rescue or mitigate the hazmat incident.